There are these nexus charts where you can map out words in major publications. I'm not talking about mom and pop news outlets. I'm talking about the New York Times, the Washington Post, like the big dogs. Go track how many times the word racism was mentioned. And around 2012, it shoots up. Yep. Social justice shoots up. Transgenderism shoots up. White privilege shoots up. This was forced on the American people. Why are we having these conversations now? No, the people did not wake up one day and decide we want to have a national conversation about chicks with chicks. That didn't happen. This wasn't an organic movement. It was all of the most powerful people decided this is what we're going to talk about. And why was that? Because th it's the perfect look. When you're failing on policy, you pivot to a culture war. Yep. You pit people yep. against each other, so they're fighting each other. Yep. We had in this country, we had an Occupy Wall Street movement where leftists were standing outside of big banks screaming, we are the 99%. Right-wingers had a populist movement called the Tea Party, where yep. they were outraged about the bailouts of big banks, yep. unsustainable debt, government spending. They don't like that. That's not what the powers that be like. You're getting too close. Look, they like you fighting about issues like abortion. Now, I'm not saying abortion isn't a very important issue. It's a very important issue. But the, us fighting about that issue doesn't scare anyone at the Federal Reserve. It doesn't scare anyone in the CIA. They don't care if you fight about that issue. They love you fighting over transgender bathrooms. Yep. They have no pr and you can see this every day. They're stoking this culture war because they have to to distract from the fact that they completely failed on everything.